Federal judge shot down a motion to allow Louis K. Aloha a second attorney paid for by the city. Jen Beniza explains. Jen? Judge John Michael Seabright expressed frustration in federal court today when a motion was raised to allow the city to pay for Louis K. Aloha's attorney. The problem? K. Aloha's current legal fees are already being paid for with federal funds. Taxpayers are footing the bill for Louis K. Aloha's legal fees one way or another. His current lawyer, Rustin Barbie, is being paid for with federal funds. Both Kay Aloha and his wife, Catherine, qualified for this, claiming they couldn't afford to pay their own legal fees. They are facing conspiracy and corruption charges. On Wednesday, the Honolulu Police Commission gave Kay Aloha access to city funds. We decided to grant his application for uh, free legal counsel to represent him in the, what's known as the mailbox case. Sheehan says the commission decided Kay Aloha was being prosecuted for acts he allegedly committed while serving as police chief. But he's already getting federal funds, so how does that work? Sheehan tells me a federal judge can decide. But Judge John Michael Seabright was clearly displeased with the situation in federal court today. Now you got two lawyers. That you ain't paying for, right? Taxpayers are paying for, and the judge is like, "What's going on?" Right? And the judge denied the motion. Seabright ruled for Rustin Barbie to stay on as K. Aloha's attorney and to move forward with the trial as planned. But why would K. Aloha request for this city to pay for his legal team in the first place? Perhaps they were thinking that um, if Louis K. Louis K. Aloha lost his. Uh, indigent status because now he has sold his home and he's not in financial straits anymore. He might lose um, the status. He might lose uh, the status of an indigent who needs the federal court to pay for his lawyer. Barbie tells me, although Judge Seabright made a ruling today, the issue could be revisited in a couple of weeks when and if funds are available through the city. For now, Louis K. Aloha's trial is set to begin May 13th. We will follow up and let you know what happens. Gina?